Hey crafty peeps, I have some beautiful Valentine DIYs for you and I can't wait to share them. So let's get right into it. I was going to use these red wood roses from Dollar Tree at Christmas and I never did and I'm glad I didn't because I think they really are going to make this project awesome. So taking this wood heart from Dollar Tree as well and this little pearly ribbon, again all these supplies are from Dollar Tree. I covered the heart in antique wax by Waverly which I think makes these look really high end. And then I'm just going to hot glue these wood roses all the way up the right side of this heart. Um, again, these are just gorgeous. I found them in just the regular like floral section where they have ribbon and the wreath forms and all that. And I had to use three packs, but I really think that this is gonna look very high end. I'm very excited with how this turned out. I'm going to use this pearl strands. I go ahead and I uh, fold it in half because I want it kind of to flow around. This comes in pink, red, maybe it was a light pink and a hot pink. I can't remember, but I love this. It's six feet long um, when it's all the way strung out. So I have it folded in half. So then just where the big pearls are is where I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue. You're not going to see it. Um, and then I'm just going to wrap this around the other side of this heart. Okay, and then I just glue down that Cherish Word, also from Dollar Tree. Kind of wish they would get some more words in. These are the ones from like two years ago. They're still having the same words. And then I'm taking some of the pearls there, also from Dollar Tree, and I'm dropping them down into the centers of these flowers. I mean, I thank my daughter for this idea. <laughs> and this is how it turned out. Here's some other options. There's the Be Mine as well. And, or you could just paint one of the words red. I kind of actually like that, but I also like the regular color. So this is the completed project. I really love it. You could turn it into a hanger or put it in a plate stand. I'm loving these bead wreaths from Dollar Tree. Pretty excited that it came in a heart shape. Um, I'm going to use these supplies all from Dollar Tree except for that ribbon. It is Christmas ribbon from Michaels. I like to pick up ribbons that will work for more than one season. Um, so I go back and forth. Do I want to use that little kiss me? Do I want to use the be mine? Um, but I'm going to go ahead and I painted this little heart with red and I go back and forth. I do like the Kiss Me uh, unpainted because it looks just like the beads. So taking my Barely Art Precision Glue, I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down to the red heart. Again, that heart is from Dollar Tree. It's the wood ornaments that I painted red. And then I will glue that down to uh, the, the grapevine heart there. And I'm just gonna make this a little hanger. It's gonna hang from the um, heart there. It has a little like hole where the heart connects. And so it makes it perfect and easy to go ahead and just tie this so it will hang. Then I just add another hanger so I can hang this on the wall and add the bow and then this project is complete. together 
Cause we got love Cause we got love You wanna get to me close Why don't you do it right now This Valentine envelope from Dollar Tree is cute all on its own But I wanted to step it up Really give it more of my, uh you know style to it. I tried to pop the front off. It would have made this so much easier But I was afraid I was gonna break it. So we're just gonna work with what we have So going into my paper stash. I had this kit again. I think it's from like 2008 <laughs> It doesn't say but there's a sticker that has like a Date on it and it's like between 2007 and 2010 on the sticker So I think this is a heck of old but again, you can find these uh, types of kits at Michaels and Joann's So I just pick this uh, paper here and I as you saw I traced out the bottom of the envelope um, and then I will add that down and then I find another piece that I like and I trace that down for the top of the envelope um, get my papers all together and then I will start embellishing this I love the look of sewing, but I'm not gonna sew. And so I found these rub-ons that look like stitching. Then I kind of like messed it up a little bit, but then I was like, I kind of like that because let me tell you, if I were to sew this, it would not be straight and it would be funky because I am not that good at sewing straight. Uh, but if you don't have rub-ons or something like this, you just take your white gel pen and you can just draw zigzags or um, dashes or whatever to make it look like stitching. Um, I like that look. So this is the inside of my envelope and originally I was going to kind of put just like one note in it kind of like how the original was but then I didn't like it so I make like three tags to go inside of it. Um, okay so now it's just a matter of gluing everything down. This has become like my favorite glue. I just like that I can you know really control where it goes. Now for the fun part, embellishing. Oh, this is always my favorite. I just start throwing things down. I'm like, what looks good? Uh, so I'm gonna add this ribbon. And then um, I had that little like rosette ribbon too that I'm gonna add. Um, I don't like how bright red it is, but it's just too cute not to use. And this particular kit came with a bunch of card stick, card stock stickers. <laughs> 
And I'm just gonna start layering them and play around. I always cut my stickers out first um, so they don't stick down and then that way I can play around with their movement until I find something I like that works. Now remember, if you wanna make something um, and you don't have the matching stickers, just pop on to Google Images or design your own and then just print them out on cardstock and cut them out. That is another alternative. Um, and then you can get very personalized and very specific. So I'm just gonna let you watch while I embellish uh, this envelope. We got And that finishes this off. Just remember you can use things like buttons and staple ribbons and little clips and clothes pins, all sorts of little things to embellish. I really like the way this turned out. Definitely gives this a whole nother look than the way it came. 
Okay, so now I'm going to make a matching project with this uh, heart stick from Dollar Tree. I went ahead and painted it burgundy. Um, I only painted the outside part of this because I'm going to put this piece of paper down. I did trace it out, but I do want it, this heart to be smaller. So I'm just going to take my scissors here and cut it a little bit uh, smaller than the original. And it's okay if I don't get it perfectly straight because I'm going to distress the edges. So they're going to be like wonky anyway. So that makes it super easy to cut this shorter. <laughs> and then I just take my little distress tool. Uh, again, you can just use your scissors. Um, I just happen to have this tool and it is really helpful. And then you can see um, off to the side, I cut a sticker out. I haven't stuck it down. I have a couple little wood hearts that I painted the same color. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down. And the, that little piece you see off to the side is uh, the little triangle piece. I am gonna put a sticker on top of that as kind of my mat. Um, so I could just utilize some scraps. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the sticker down. Now it's gonna have sticky on the back. So you have a couple options. Baby powder is one of them. I don't have baby powder, um, but I'm just gonna stick a little piece of paper on the back just so it's not sticky. So here's where I'm kind of matting this sticker, but then I decide I'm gonna actually make it a little bit of a tag. So I'm gonna give it a little bit longer on the right side there. I'm gonna go ahead and distress it as well. And then I'm gonna just kind of cut two little um, triangles off the top sides to make it look like a little tag. And that was easy peasy. Easy way to make a little tag. So here is where I pick, take a little bit of scrap paper and put it on the back of that sticker, just so it doesn't stick to anything. Um, again, whatever you wanna do to, to kind of get that sticky covered. Okay, I'm gonna flip it over and embellish this. Um, I'm gonna use some ribbons. I have some black and white ribbon. Uh, and then if, if you get ribbon and it's just not laying the way you want, go ahead and just use a little dab of hot glue um, so that your tails go the way you want. I'm gonna do that on this one because that first ribbon was wired and then this one isn't. So it's kind of floppy. It's not flopping the way I want. <laughs> so I just use a little piece of hot glue there and make it to how I want. I'm gonna use some uh, red and white baker's twine as well. And then that will be how I hang the tag. Um, off screen, I put a little hole in the tag. You wanna make sure you're using a small hole punch, not a regular size one. Um, that's gonna to be too big. Um, your, if you have a crocodile, it has a small hole on it, so you can do that as well. Um, I didn't wanna really tie it on there. I wanted it to lay really flat. And so what I do is I just uh, thread it there and then I'm just gonna hot glue it. Hot glue it right into spot. That's the best way. And now I'm just gonna add these little red hearts. Um, again, they're just little wood hearts that I painted the same color. And that completes this project. Now, you could set this in a little flower pot. I'm gonna, you know, you could put it in a vase. Um, if you keep plants in your house, um, I, I do, and I, I like to put a little seasonal like stick in it. So I think this will be really cute for that. We only need the two of us together. 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 I hope you enjoyed these DIYs. I would love it if you stuck around and hit that subscribe button. Until next time, happy crafting!